let's go for a walk and then let's go talk to some friends of ours while we're walking so right now we are hey if Lisa and Jesse are on here is look at this you huh? recognize it <laughs> I got my Elmer Fudd hat on <laughs> looks Good. wonderful yeah. anyways so we're just gonna wait for some friends to come in I can't actually see if there is anyone in here or not but regardless we're on come on Opal and you know what I realized we just did is we yeah we did on one on YouTube instead of Facebook but that's okay so it'll just be a minute come on honey come on there we go okay so we are going to go for a walk you want to open the gate oh sorry we have to get our doggy first um anyways so today hey Hardnack Farms how are you and hi Rebecca how are you today I hope everything's good with you Lisa and Jesse got us these hats and Ryan has one too I'm gonna show you Ryan's hey Ryan can't yeah. get our dog oh you can't get our dog <laughs> hey Sean's on Sean's looking at Opal Opal come Come on. Opal, come. Come. Look at Sean wants to say hello. <laughs> say hello. She's acting a bit naughty right now. So we're trying to get a leash on her so we can go for a walk. Oh dear. Hi. Hello. Anyways, uh. Sean wanted to say hi. So we're having we're having troubles with Opal being naughty right Did now. Just leave her there? Um I want to walk. Well, I don't. Opal, come, come. Let's put a leash on. Because you actually have to have a leash on a dog if you're gonna. Oh, she's just acting like a brat. Look at her. Just hold it, hold it, everyone. <laughs> Whoa, Hardnack Farms. You're watching possible severe tornadoes. I'm sorry. Oh no, that's frightening. Okay, tell her to sit. <laughs> she literally is not listening at all i she's been so good lately hi jason and gina how are you look at here now there's lots of people on today sean marit says yarn and crafts hola nice to see you again it's been a little while love the land homestead love that you're here this was totally hey nadia how are you doing Hello, hello. Um, yeah, we're having troubles with Opal. I'm gonna show you guys what she's up to because really this is a problem. Ryan's trying to, okay, she's so disobedient. Opal? Opal? Sit. Sit, sit. Good girl. Okay, stay. okay, she just listened. No, stay. sit, stay. Stay. Oh my word. Oh. <laughs> Opal, you're on, you're on our live. Oh my word. Opal, sit. Opal. Okay, this is not good. This is... <laughs> this is embarrassing. What are you going to do? Yeah, honey, you've got the dog all trained up real nice, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, Hardnack says, we're hoping moisture doesn't enhance storms. It's a slight possibility in Oklahoma. Wait. Hey, Tish. How are you? It's been a long time since I've seen you. So nice to see you, too. Yes. She is zoomy. The, <laughs> the zoomies overrule all. No kidding. Sean says she's got the zoomies and like she just can't be controllable right now. <laughs> okay, hold up. No. Okay, this is a problem. Okay. Yeah, it's going to get old. Okay, Opal, come. Opal, come. Come. Opal. Come. Opal. Okay, she's not literally listening at all. Rem sit. 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 Oh, brother. Okay, well, this, this is embarrassing because really... Um, you'd think that... Okay, there she goes. Okay, Opal, sit. 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 Stay. Stay. Sit. 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 <gasps> Okay, this is a <laughs> this is a problem. Oh, Tish thinks it's hilarious only because she's experienced with her dogs, <laughs> done the same thing. Okay, you know what though? She's
she's actually been really good. Um, but it's just, yeah, she's just getting wild. She's just literally getting wild right now. So it's crazy. But we did just want to say hi to everybody because we thought we were working. I'm editing a new episode. And now that I've um, sold my company, you guys are going to be seeing so much more content from us. So we're working. I can't put my hat down because my shades are in the way. So here we go. It's not working. It's not working at the moment. But anyways, um, I do have to work with my company for at least until May the 8th. Um, and then Sit. after that, this is literally all that I'm going to be doing. So Ryan's just going to try and get her organized. Opal, sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. Okay, here, here. Stay. No. no. It's just a, go without her. Okay, we're going to leave, but then when the gate opens, we're going to have troubles. So anyways, we're going to take you down to the ocean. Um, we... Are on Vancouver Island right now which is our home base and um, we are going to oh. Oh. there she comes <coughs> <coughs> come oh my lord thank you Tish hey Mona um <coughs> <coughs> sorry yeah, we have to wait to make sure she doesn't trigger the gate once we've gone or else it'll open and she'll just run wild. Okay. Okay, so she's just going to be running around there. I just hope that the gate doesn't open. Anyways, so here we go, guys. We're going to be taking you down to the ocean with us. And we just need a really good brisk walk, don't we, honey? Yep. You're on. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good thing to look at the camera when someone's talking to you. But um, how long before you head back to the island? The ice is still pretty thick up here. We heard that, Sean. You um, tell them what we've actually got some pictures as well. Um, I don't know if you're our Facebook friends or not. But I hope you can hear us. But we've just um, posted on Facebook some pictures that um, we got. And it's very snowy. You're right. The ice is very thick still. And we have a little problem up there that we're going to be dealing with. So I think it's going to be okay. And we're not going to tell it quite yet because it's going to be on one of our episodes for real. So. Oh, we can tell them, can we? No. Oh. No, no. Anyways. Um, so, yes, we can. can you guys hear us very well? So, Sean, to answer your question, sorry. Um, we will be heading up on May 15th. And then I won't have to be doing any work while I'm up there like I did. Well, like I always have ever since we, we put that thing there. got the island. Oh, yeah. Neat. Anyways, so um, that'll be it. We'll have lots of content. And I'm working on episode 17 right now. And I think I'm going to be able to get two episodes out this week. Hey, honey? That'd be awesome. Like I do. I think I'm going to be able to. So That would be awesome. Because we do have a ton of content. And Ryan was just saying, with the amount of content that we have... We're gonna to have too much to yeah, put it up by, yeah, by the time that we put our third season up. That's hard to believe, eh? Third oh. season. Anyways, I should I should read. Oh, you can hear us loud and clear. He says. Yeah. Hey, enough. Cindy. Hi. How are you today? Can you guys see us very well though? Because I can't actually see my screen. Tell them where we're walking. Um. And there's Rebecca saying she can hear us. Okay, that's good. Do you guys want to see where we're walking? I don't know that that's very... Side road to the ocean. So, yes, we are on the Pacific Ocean over here in Vancouver Island. And um, it's a little bit of a jump. Um, it poured and poured and poured. And honestly, I never get anything out of people's walking 
videos because I except for the fact that I mean I shouldn't say that this is our coffee they list. can be interesting but I'd rather see them and listen to what they have to say what'd you say honey this is our coffee less walks yeah our coffee less walks okay so Ryan's gone on a completely no caffeine life I'm doing it yeah he's been doing it can you see him here honey Hi. stop for just a moment so I can get my bearings here um, oh. I just want to make sure I got him anyways I've never really drank hot caffeine um, if I did have a hot drink like I'd act like I was all big and stuff and have one but I had to have tons of sugar because I just don't like it I think it's that's one of the reasons why I stopped caffeine is because I had hold it let's stop for a moment I, had, uh, I used to drink it with so much like two, two I can't heaping things of sugar I'm right in the middle of it okay good and uh, two two heaping spoons of sugar and cream yeah and cream doesn't really agree with me uh, uh, he's not kidding <laughs> so TMI TMI I, I think I think I'm lactose intolerant because <laughs> um, every time I have coffee it's like I've got Montezuma's revenge right after it <laughs> I mean, but I just love coffee how do you how can you honest do you honestly or are you just pretending no no I, I actually love it it's you like a, the taste of it it's not a cuberdon situation it's a real I actually do love <gasps> it. okay speaking of which oh, the no. cuberdon situation came up <laughs> again so if anybody missed our live on Thursday night we had the lovely the most amazing cuberdon candies straight from Bruges in Belgium Bruges in Belgium bags that we bought anyways he's never liked them okay he's never liked them i thought well he's never no just, okay we I, sorted this out the other I night i just want to be clear the, the the candies that we had before i didn't really like a whole lot no he didn't like them but the kind that we had the other day were amazing but the stuff before was not good so you didn't let me have them because you were being kind and wanted me to have them right right okay okay just wanted to get that out there everybody so because we had quite a discussion after our little visit the other night and uh he was just playing he said so anyways now the montezuma's revenge thing that's another thing ice cream milky stuff does not agree with ryan milkshakes i love them <laughs> I love them and I have them whenever I can but then I, I can't be too far away from them. oh honey I mean this is going full on like oh it's true it's but it is true but I wasn't gonna say anything about him now I don't have issues there but I also don't really drink much milk if I can help it um, almond milk though I drink almond milk perfect yeah almond milk is good hey yeah and and it makes cappuccino just as good it foams up just as good if well not better. yeah so we this got a surprising we got a cafe breville which is a little thing that makes foamed milk and oh my word Honey, i have sugar-free i have sugar-free sweeteners and i have the greatest hot drinks i'm gonna try and see some of you guys oh Honey, look at these cherry blossoms. okay sorry Oh, it's grainy. Is it grainy, you guys? Uh-oh. A little fuzzy now. Sound is cutting in and out. Nice way to go, Ryan. Coffee's a natural. <laughs> no kidding. Can you see us now? Because we don't want to put you through this. Because there's nothing worse than having a bad live. Um, if it's not clear. So I'll wait to see if you guys can see us. Hey, Sharla. Hi. That's nice that you've popped in today. Um... I'm just gonna wait for just one second to see if it's clear because it was fuzzy. Honey, they were saying that they it was getting fuzzy. Come on down this way. So we might have missed everybody, I wonder. No. Okay. Um Hi Melody and Ryan, and that is Rushing Wind Mountain, which is Ruby. Yes, it is grainy. It wasn't when you were walking. Oh, okay. We're getting close to the ocean. And I don't know if you can hear this, 
but the sea lions are barking. And I'd love for you guys to see everything, but it's hard because I think it's just going to get grainier and grainier. So. Just keep going and we'll see what happens. Okay. Still working? Let's just see quite a bit. Oh, sea lions are quite. <laughs> Our knack says that sea lions are cute but very smelly. Are they? Well, that kind of changes my perception of them a bit. Um, I wonder, Ryan, do you want to hold this? Because maybe it's because of me that it's greeny. Sure. <clears throat> dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still? Doesn't look grainy to me. Well, no, but. <laughs> so we're not far from being down at the actual ocean and um, you might be able to see the sea lions. Someone said that they were smelly. Hard Knock Farm said that they're smelly. I didn't realize that. I've heard that goats are. Is oh, that true? Yeah. Goats are smelly. We talked about it. Goats are stank, big time stank. I've never actually smelled them. But um, I don't think Ryan wants them. No. Nope. Do you? I don't want goats. Well, then how are we going to get milk and cheese and stuff? Well, we just won't get it from goats. That's where we're going. Everybody see that? Oh, maybe Stop we should walking. do it a, do it a different way. How, how do we spin this thing around? Right there. 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 Does everybody see that? Stop walking. Why? Why do we have to stop? Because it's it it, um, it moves too much. Just oh. Just give him a really nice. I'm just doing thing. it like this. I've got my my image stabilizer on. And right there. You can see a little spit of land, and that's where the sea lions are. Actually, it's on the log booms that they sit. Oh. The log booms is where they sit. They, oh. And you can, I can see some. Can you guys see them? Can you make it bigger? Yeah, sure. Because I can see where some of those sea lions are sitting. Tell us if you can see them. It's kind of fun. See, you can see a couple of them right there. Oh, yeah. How about that, eh? Read the comments just to see if anybody can see the sea lions. It would be uh, fun to see. Male goat, uh, very stinky. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, here. I wonder if we've missed anyone here. Okay, so. Almost there, honey. Not now. Looks good now. I want to see the sea lions, especially the male goat. Yeah, right, I know. Okay, Tish said it was good. I can on my 85. Oh, Sharla. You don't want to be looking at us on an 85-incher. <laughs> oh no, can you imagine that? Okay, I'm going to try and walk very steady. I'm going to try and walk steady. It's okay. Now, for all of you who don't know this, I my left hand, I have a bit of a tremor. I got a tremor a few years ago in one of my hands. And it's not all the time, but it is sometime. And apparently it's just familial, it's completely benign, um, but I have it every once in a while. And then you know what? It actually started getting a bit better, like last year. Now I'm noticing it a bit again. And so you'll see on some of our footage. Walking your dog. Oh, <laughs> you brought the, you actually brought the leash. So anyways, you'll see on some of our footage that things might be a little shaky sometimes. I thought that she might sneak out because we've got a hole in the fence. <gasps> Ryan, I never thought of that. I did. That's why I brought the leash. Oh no, I never thought of that. She could have gotten out on the side fences. I think she'll stick around. Oh boy. She'll stick around. Oh boy. Can you see ahead? The boats and everything. That's where we're going. <laughs> Thank you, Sharla. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Can you see us again? That's great. Okay, hard knack. In Marina del Rey, visiting friends in 2017, the sea lions were hanging out on the yacht and they smell. Oh, that makes for a not near as lovely outing. Hi, Diana. Is Opal happy to be home? Oh, oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing someone. She happy to be home. 
Okay, so here we go. Coming down, coming down to where some of the boats are being kept. Now, oh, on our island where we go soon, we have literally a skiff that's like how many feet big? Twelve. Yeah, so we're talking today about how badly we need docks. We just have to. So we're looking at all of that. Um, it's one of those things where I want to build it myself, but I also want to have it in my lifetime. <laughs> yeah, you know, exactly. We have so many other priorities. So we might, we might have to bite the bullet and invest in one dock and then build the other ones when we have time. Right? Yeah. We're just going to Indian leg wrestle about that one. No. Oh, arm wrestle about that one, that's what we're going to do. Cannot trust him out. Okay, so um, Opal, yes, Opal is absolutely thrilled to be home and to have us home. But I, Diana, you might have missed the earlier part here. We were trying to kind of maybe brag a little bit because Opal has been such a good doggy lately and she's yeah. listening. She's listening to us, she's obeying, which she's never done on earth, except for like just the last little while. Today, of course, on our live stream, she literally did everything that proved that it wasn't true. Yeah. You know? She wasn't a very good doggy today. No, she wasn't very good. But she's having the time of her life over at the place and, oh brother. Anyways, so this is where we cut through to go right to the ocean. And I sure hope that you can still see us because I don't really know if you can or not. Um, comments coming through? Comments are coming through, but like we may not be. I just can't know for sure. And I know I'm going to dread it if I look back on this and see. But you can hear the beautiful creek. <gasps> look at how pretty this is. You can hear it. You can hear it. We can see Ryan. Yes, looking good now, Cindy says. Okay, okay this, this is where we go. Through. Is this uh, looking? Yeah, there's Melody. Now she's scampering. This is so beautiful in here. Look how huge this cedar is. Oh man. Look at it. You could make a dock out of that, hey? It's a huge cedar. Yeah, it's really nice. That'll never blow away in the wind. Coming down to the Pacific Ocean right in front of us. And it's really pretty. Yeah. This right is Melody's on. favorite part. She likes to go scampering. She's got her scamper coat on and her scamper shoes. Oh, you got sparkly shoes on. <laughs> Whoa, there must have been a lot of water. Look how it carved this out. Oh, let's go that way. Yeah. Wow, did it ever carve this out? I can't get over it. We're just gonna find a little log to sit on. There's one right there. Oh, it's so nice. Wow, there must have been some storms. Look at how the beach is just perfectly clean. Look at the ridges. Look at the water. It's perfect. I hope they can still see you. Can you still see us, guys? Oh, a lot of comments saying beautiful. That water is so clear. If it wasn't salty, you could drink it. We're going to sit on that log. Right, honey? Boy, I wish uh, Burt Island had rock like this. It would make concrete mixing a whole lot easier. Here you go, sweetheart. 
Is anybody on still? Hopefully, we didn't lose them all. Hard to tell. Oh, you, you haven't read. Let's just see. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they can see. So this is our backdrop today for our live. <laughs> and it's not a green screen. Not this one. It's an actual, honest one. I'm wow. getting the circadian rhythm reset here. Circadian rhythm. Yeah, what did I say? Yeah. Did I say it right? So, we watched something yesterday that talked about the circadian rhythm and looking up to the sun yeah. and actually getting sun on your face and that you get vitamin D from that. And but it resets your clock, your internal clock. <coughs> yeah, so, I mean, we're trying to go all health. All health this year because I really need to help a lot on the island. And I know Ryan doesn't have the greatest confidence in my skill set. Sure you do. Do you? Yeah. But, well. Have you not watched our videos? I always comment I on how good you are. I haven't watched our videos. Oh, you should watch them sometime. It's not that, it's that I don't have the strength that I used to. Oh, when Melody follows Ryan, it usually, hi ho, it's off to work we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true, Charlotte just said that womp, 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 womp. <laughs> that is true. And you know, my heart is, is with him working away, but my strength isn't always there. Hard knacks is good for you, Charlotte says beautiful. And I want to tell them what happened. Diana Regalis. Oh, is it still grainy? The view is a little grainy, but we can see the beach and water. I think it might be because um, it was it was too. Bad. It might have been too close, fast movement. Because it is fast movement here. If you don't just sit still. So a lot of times that's what happens on other people's lives. I see a lot of movement and then the everything goes bad. But I, did I miss anyone else? Oh yeah. So we had no idea that we were gonna have any friends on today and we just took the phone and said, hey, why don't we get back on and say hello to everyone? Yeah, just a little hello. A little hello and we, as you know, we are already starting the process to pack everything up. I want to paint the front door of that tiny cabin a lovely, lovely, bright, cheerful, happy color because I love the color that we've chosen. Oh, it's the color on the bird bath. It's that bluey, greeny um, color and I want that one because I've done the rest of my home. Um, my home base like that. My doors are that color, if you can believe it. <laughs> so I'm thinking like a gray with a black trim and then those doors. That's what I'm thinking. Yep. Because like I don't like doing things just like everyone else. Right. So it's always going to be a little bit different. Yep. You know? It always is. So who else came on in? Hey, an eagle. Scott with the rambling with the brooms is on. I need an eagle flying right up there. I'm glad you did both. Made my day. Beautiful scenery and lovely. Oh, thank you, Cindy. That is so sweet of you. Howdy, Russian wind. Okay, people are saying hello to each other, which is also what we want. And um, thank you for coming in, Scott. Okay, I, there's some something trying to get my attention constantly over here now let's just look. it went over here yeah you were you sh tried to show me a heart shape walk oh dear and now he's he's hurt now it's gone are you sure yeah you weren't paying any attention to me i'm so sorry <laughs> because i was trying to run this thing too oh, okay yeah so ryan what's the big plan for today um painting today painting. Yeah. Remember we had to replace the floor because we had that little issue. Yeah. So he's going to be painting on our home base and then he's also decided he may do something else. Do you want to share that? No, want the fence? Yeah. Yeah, we got Is this a good idea, people? We Tell got, us. We got some fence quotes for uh, a chain link fence. And I can't get over how much money people want to do stuff, you know? They want uh I'll just share. They uh our quotes are like eight thousand dollars for 160 feet of fence, and then I did a material takeoff, 
and it worked out to like two grand in material. So I'm thinking, huh, I can just do it myself, save six grand. Yeah. Yeah, so the thing of it is, is the labor, right? Yeah, but I mean, and wow, that's a lot. So we just have to get a laborer to help. I'm gonna help, and we're thinking maybe we'll just do it ourselves. Do you think this is a good idea? That was chain link, and then a, a wooden fence. Um, wood's pretty expensive nowadays. Wood I could bang together, no problem. But um, I'm not experienced with chain link fencing, but that's what YouTube's for. Right, honey? What? So we'll figure it out. What's YouTube for? If you're not experienced with something, you can look on YouTube and figure out how to do it. <laughs> oh okay yeah that is exactly right that is absolutely true okay but listen we've got messages here and i've just moved um oh no scott says prayers required strep a and covid i'm not doing very well oh scott i'm so sorry yikes oh my well definitely add you to our prayer list. I'm very sorry. That is really hard. Mona says it's insanely expensive. Yes, it really is. Scott said that's cheap. <laughs> really is it Scott? It's only 160 feet though. Yeah, it's not a very big piece, but we, you know what? We realized that something weird was going on in the property because our security lights kept going off. And our security cameras kept going off and we yeah. would watch it and lo and behold there is literally a herd of deer in the back of our property which has never happened before. Our security doggy kept going off too. Yeah and the security dog but you guys know what's really funny this is so cute it just makes me laugh there would be like out oh, 10 30 every morning we would have this security thing on our ring camera and I'd be like what is that like who's in the property now like who yeah so every day we'd hear this this um beep and we'd go and take a look and you know what it is <laughs> it's the cutest thing a black squirrel gets up like same time every morning and walks across does the same rounds every does day. the same routine and trips our cameras and so now it's not a very good thing because it's like the the you know cry wolf thing now somebody could break in and steal our entire shop and we, we just think it's we the think it was the black squirrel yeah. <laughs> oh my word it makes me laugh i'm gonna have to show you a picture of it a video of it um because that little squirrel has been doing that and it's and the he, cutest thing he walks with attitude like he owns the place too yeah like it's like well he's definitely got he's got he, some swag and he has like a mission. He's on a mission, you yeah. know. So wow, this is nice here, eh? there is the ocean right out in front of us. And it's really pretty. And I hope this the wind isn't getting you too badly. Um, isn't that funny though? I know. Okay, there's some more messages here. I'm so sorry I missed them because the sun is in my eyes and yeah, hard knock is helping out, letting Scott, lots of vitamin D, zinc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Diana says, Haas Tools ships to Canada. They have the best seeds and plugs too. Okay, so Diana, I'm sorry, I missed that about the seeds. I haven't started the seeds yet. Um, I'm trying to get another episode finished so that I may have another one up before Thursday just because we do have so much footage and we had a lot of distractions so we're not getting um, we've missed a couple so I want to get those up and going um, you will need a post hole digger Mona said yeah we're gonna get an auger and then Cindy said YouTube University for the win <laughs> <laughs> that's true that is absolutely true Charlotte said I was in the dentist chair the dentist left for a minute came back in and said I had to go look at YouTube on how to fix your tooth lol <laughs> <laughs> oh that is so cute that's like the pilot saying hey hello good morning everyone welcome to your yeah, yeah if this is your first flight mine too <laughs> yeah we're in the same boat it's mine too 
which isn't hilarious. Hey, Thunder Ridge, how are you? Thanks so much for dropping in. I know, I heard of deer, exactly. Scott says 360 feet and his buddy paid 35,000. For a chain link? No. For a chain link. Really? Wow. Wow. That's something else. That's a lot. Okay, that's a lot. But ours, we don't have 360 feet. We've got what? About 160. 160 feet. Yeah. That's, still that's the a size of the hole. Fair bit. But that, that 360 foot fence that Squirrel he's talking security. about. security. <laughs> we're not going to have laser guided security system like his buddy. You know? Ours is just going to be a normal chain link fence. Well, did he say that about his friend? I think he just said a chain link fence. I don't know. I was thinking that. The, lo or the rocks and you're a rock hound, are you? Oh. oh hey, God. Rob and Sarah. Hey, there's a seal there. Where? Right oh, 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 Just a minute, a sea lion? Okay, Ryan, can you put him on? Because just a minute, maybe I have him. Maybe I don't know. There's a sea lion swimming. A little tiny black shiny head. Everybody see that? Can anyone see it? I'm trying to see it myself. Yeah. Can you see it? I can see it. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's neat. The That's way they cool just... that they, he came by to say hello to my wild home's friends. Yeah, he did. Oh, just looking around. He's gone. Oh. He gone. He gone. He gone. There you go. Wow. Oops. Sorry, everyone. Okay. I'm just... Somebody just came in, Rob and Sarah. And can you see, honey? Is that as bright as it can go, honey? Um, I think so. I'll just check. Okay. Oh, it's not. There it's not. But don't. Okay, there, there. Oh, hey guys, that's helped a lot. That has really, really helped a lot. Okay. I literally couldn't see it. Okay, just a minute. Simple meals by T. Hey there. Welcome in. Oh, it's an eight foot chain link. Oh. Yeah. That makes What's a ours? Uh, six. Ours is a six. Yeah. So, okay, I'd much prefer an eight, an eight foot, to be honest. Hey? He probably has privacy slots too. And that'll, that'll add a bit of cost to it. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Diana says, I love my six foot privacy fence. Oh, he says he's not absolutely sure it could be six foot. Go left. Go left. What does go left mean? I'm not sure. Robin, Sarah. Awesome catch, y'all. Hey, did you see it? That's fun, hey. Diana says she saw it. Hard next is the rocks. Where are you guys at? We are um, on Vancouver Island in a little bay looking out at the ocean. The left was for when you saw the sea lion. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you. I had to um, give it to Ryan because, well, my screen on my phone was turned really dark so that I can look at it in bed when I'm trying to get all caught up. And um, I don't want the light to be too bright for Ryan. And then That's Charla helpful. says, I saw it on my TV, not my phone. <laughs> the sea line was out of frame. Are you sure, Scott? Because I thought that, that the little sea line was on there for a while. Oh. Oh, he says that it wasn't. Oh, oh no. Well, we'll get him well Diana says she saw him. Yeah. We'll get yeah. Him so anyways, bye Mona. Thank you for coming in. I hope you have a really great week and we'll catch up with you this week at some point. Cause I always go and take a look at channels. We saw his head for a second, Rob said. <laughs> oh, that's not enough. Look at that huge log pile up there. Way up Can there. you hear them? There. <laughs> this is what we hear all night long. Okay, this is a problem. Okay, we need your help. We need your help for this. Right, Ryan? Huh. Tell them what the problem is every single night. Oh, yeah. It's shocking. You wouldn't believe it. We should actually... You no, know, we, we have to record it. We have to record it. You wouldn't believe how loud these frogs are outside our bedroom window. <sighs> we cannot sleep. They are so incredibly loud and you go out there to try to get them we were thinking we'll just collect them and trebuchet them over the fence but uh 
they just go silent as soon as you walk outside. As soon as you open the sliding glass door, it's like crickets. Yeah. <laughs> frogs. It's like <laughs> frogs. Frogs turn into crickets. <laughs> but they are loud. They're oh, like, bye, Simple Meals. You're like, how are Thank you monkeys. for coming in. We love that you were here today. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just shut this off? Nope. Ruby said that she did. Diana said that she did. And Charla says, how close are you to your island? Um, we are 12, no, more, more than, we're, 14 hours from we're about 13 and a half hours from our island because we have to take a ferry trip and then a 12 hour drive out into the wilderness. So when we say that the island is in the wilderness, like we could not be yeah, telling yeah. any more truth yeah, it's than in that. The wilderness. <laughs> it is in the wilderness, but we're so excited. We are so excited, eh? Yeah. We've got so many plans and you know what? I'm feeling so much better this year than I was last year because truthfully, oh, I'm so glad. yeah, I was not, I was not feeling all that well last year. Yeah. Um, and I just don't know why there was just so many weird things going on, but I feel, I Might feel. Might have been the forest smoke. I do think a lot of it could have been the smoke because smoke is really bad for you to inhale like that. And even though I tried to be careful, um, I, all, it was just in us. We were just saturated with smoke. Yeah, you were, you're very sensitive to smoke. Me, it didn't really affect me too much. But if it would have been burnt milk, I'm sure the burnt milk smoke would have got me. Burnt milk? Yeah, because I can't handle milk for some reason. <laughs> you don't know what I mean, do you? No. Oh, I was talking about lactose intolerance. <laughs> Oh, not again. Surely not again. We're not talking that way. No, we're not. We, we're talking about something else now. <laughs> oh, my word. Um, Diana said she believes about the frogs because in Naples, Florida, they were crazy loud after the hurricane. Oh. Oh, and Scott said, well, and you had a year from hell. You're still in my prayers. Thank you. It was hard, actually, and I think sometimes... That's true. That's true. Yeah, I think sometimes when your heart hurts so bad yeah. and you're always in a constant state of fear um, that you're going to be getting a horrible phone call or... Yeah. I think that also, yeah. I think that's part of it, for sure. It's so therapeutic to be here today, you know, to just look at how beautiful this is. With all of our friends and, I, and it really gives us um, such a boost to know that, like, it's the oddest thing, hey. Anytime that we need to talk to somebody, we go, we go on a live, and you guys are all there, and it's just like so amazing. That's I awesome. I can't believe it, hey. It's awesome. Like we'll never be. It's good for the soul. Alone, it is. It's totally good for the soul. Yeah. Just to have that connection, and then like I always have my family. We literally WhatsApp all day long, every day. Yep. Um, but. But you guys are special too, and it's um, that's kind of fun, really. It's kind of neat, you know. Yeah. So, um, oh, now we, we're getting more comments here. Sorry. Yeah. Charlotte says she can't. Yeah, she can't do smoke. I can't either. I literally feel so horrible. Vinegar. Okay, if you spray vinegar around, it will help keep frogs away. Okay. Really? I'm try I think that they're today. in the pool. Is the problem? I do. I think they're all in there. Well. I could always drop some electricity into the pool. No, oh, no. Yeah. No, honey, don't. Why? Well, that would be frightening because then you'd forget and go and pick it out. <laughs> I right? I, I don't think I'd forget that. Well, you have you have electrocuted yourself a fair amount of times. I have. In front of me. And I don't know what I would do. What would I do? Shut the power off? Or what would I do? Well, you don't touch me, that's for sure. I couldn't help you. If I'm still, if I'm still like doing the shaking. funky chicken. <laughs> If I'm still shaking and baking, you don't want to touch me. What would I do? Would I shut the power off? Yeah, you just go hit the main breaker. In the pool house? Oh. Oh, oh. oh you mean at home? I mean at home. Oh, I thought you were talking about the island. No, um, no, no. At home? Yeah, you just you look for a breaker and turn it off. The main one's in the laundry room. Really? The that's the main Okay, well, that's good to know. Hard knocks, as I understand, I'm vegan. I can't eat meat or dairy. Oh, really? Because it's hard on your system, is it? Yes, Scott, God's beauty is so true. Stress also, your poor little grandson. Yeah. Yes, yes. My son last night, Addison, um, a, a 
church flew him to Idaho because he's in Dallas. And um, he did a full concert last night and it was really beautiful. And I think I'll post it on our community page so that you guys can watch it if you'd like. He's um, He has a beautiful voice, but he's an amazing man and I'm very proud of him. Um, and Friday night when I knew that he was going to Idaho, I just got this totally fearful, like frozen fearful fear, right? And I couldn't shake it. And so I said to Ryan that I had this fear and um, I was literally frozen until he contacted me and I knew that he was safe and I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm getting PTSD from everything, but he was safe. Um, Thank goodness. But your we love you, Diana. Thank you. Your intuition's been bang on in the past. Well, oh, oh I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm missing your, I'm missing your comments. Oh, the frog leg thing and eating. Oh, eat frog legs. <laughs> People eat frog legs, don't they? Do they really taste like chicken? I want to know that. What do frog legs taste like? Well, I don't even know what chicken tastes like hardly. So um, I get an anaphylactic from meat and dairy. So they haven't eaten. Hardneck hasn't eaten in many years. Oh boy. Oh, Diana, would you love to hear him? His concert was really, really lovely. And then the very, very, very last song, <laughs> which was actually after the closing prayer, um, he came back on and he did a little tribute to Magnus yeah. um, with the old hymn until then. And um, he got a little bit choked up and he's, he's got such a heart. But anyways, I will, I'll post the link to his concert um, later on when I get back to the place. And so rambling, so Scott just said that frog legs taste like chicken. They do. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> do they honestly, Scott? They're delicious. I eat frog legs and alligator. Do you? Do you honestly? That's very interesting. Thank you, Charlotte. I will. Thank you so much. Um, so, w but would there be much to eat on a frog leg? Would it, would it? be enough to sustain a person for very long because aren't they small or are these big big frogs from They're somewhere frogs. and rob says that gator nuggets are good i wonder what those taste like frog legs will have more meat on them than chicken wings will frog legs mm -hmm. are you sure yeah they're just little tiny legs well it, it, that's a little tiny frog but you get big frogs right um oh here i'm trying to put ryan in the in the mix here here, Ryan, do you want to look at the camera for a minute? Because there you go. I'm looking. Okay, so I didn't expect us to be visiting this long, but it's just so beautiful and so serene, and we wanted to share it with you all. And it's been really good to get the good fresh air. Yeah. So I think probably at some point here, oh, just a moment. Let's not, okay, Hardnack, where's our dog? Yeah. So Opal's back at Baywood at our just, property. Just thinking we should probably go back and get her. And yeah, we're nervous about her. So we probably will have to go out. Um, Thunder Ridge says he hasn't had alligator with the exception of gator jerky. And that was incredibly delicious. Isn't that amazing? Cindy says frog legs are small. Scott says they're bullfrogs that he eats and he can eat a few. Whoa, bullfrogs would have big legs, hey? Thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much. Look so, eagle, honey. oh, 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 an eagle. Where? Right there. See Do him? you guys see him? An eagle flying. You got I, him, honey? Well, I mean, he's probably hard to see, but <laughs> but I, you can still hear the sea lions. So, what we're gonna do is say goodbye for now. We're gonna walk back up the hill, and we're gonna go and make sure that Opal and the black squirrel aren't visiting. Yeah because then that could be a real problem. I got some painting to do. Oh, you got some painting to do? I got some painting to do. Okay, so thank you everybody. Happy Palm Sunday. And did you see the eagle, Hardnack, did you? Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, glad I got on that, I need to go. Bye, Sharla, bye-bye everyone. Hugs, thank you so much for coming in today. Have a good day.
Look at they chopped the top of that cedar down. 